it's time for a limelight hydrangea tree pruning update. In this video, I'll show you how this tree looked just two weeks after pruning, as well as how it looks today, six weeks after pruning. I'm Laura from Garden Sanity. Let's get started. So I pruned this limelight hydrangea tree at the end of March. And at the top there, you'll see a link to the video where you can see how I pruned it and what to look for when you're pruning your own limelight hydrangea tree. Just two weeks later, buds were visible on the tree. Now they were visible obviously when I was pruning the tree, but as you can see here, the buds started already turning into leaves, which was really nice to see. Here's an example of new leaves sprouting just below the pruning cut that I made. And new buds also appeared popping out of the main trunks too. The newer stems have several leaves budding out all up and down the stems. And I've got a good stem in the back of the tree, which will hopefully help the tree to be better balanced and less lopsided this year, as more new stems develop and grow out from it. So here you go, here is what the tree looked like back at the end of March. And here's what it looks like today. Now let's look at some of the stems up close. Now here is a very sturdy stem growing out from the base of the trunk. Look at that. It's so thick already and I can't even get over how fast it, it sprouted out. However, I'm gonna have to cut it off because I don't want stems growing down here. It'll turn it back into more of a shrub. And I wanna keep it as a tree, but boy, it's nice to see healthy growth, just not in the right place. Now, if you remember this long stem here, I said I was going to leave it and see what would happen. Well, what seems to be happening is just one section of leaves and stems here. Oh, actually there's one in the back. Ha ha, good. And then there's one right there. But the rest of the stem is not doing a thing. So what I'm gonna do is I will come in here and right above this last bit of growth, I'll just prune that off. So just to show you how the pruning cuts get covered pretty easily. There's a cut I made and it's already covered by the leaves and you can see here there's one strong stem, there's another strong stem right up here and that's great and again look how thick these stems are. That's pretty thick. That's what you want to see, and that's great. And again, just to show you what the stems are looking like. You see these two right here and right here. Those two green stems just sprouted this year. And then you have this guy. He sprouted last year. So just trying to give you an idea of what these stems look like. And even inside, you can see a lot of new stems, like there's this guy, this guy right here, that's coming right out. You see, it just comes right out from in between those two older stems. What's nice to see is these are just leaves upon leaves upon leaves sprouting and opening up. And at the very end of all these is where you're going to get your flowers. So at the very end of leaf tips, stem tips I should say, is where you're going to get all the beautiful, beautiful flowers. <laughs> this cluster of leaves almost looks like it's uh, in overdrive. But that's going to be nice, and I'm really glad 
that I've got some growth on the back and I'm going to really keep an eye on making sure that this growth does well and that this tree does not get lopsided again. But it looks good. Here's what the tree looks like on this side. Although I don't know if trees really have sides. Do they have sides? I don't think they have sides. This view, here, here's a view. <laughs> here's a different view. So I hope you enjoyed this update and I'll keep you posted as we go along on how this is doing. But here's what it looks like six weeks after pruning. Happy gardening.